Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com. You can also find me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And I want to talk to you about Git Stash. Really talk to you about how you can name your Git Stash entries. And from there, actually use that name to pull those entries back when you need to do a pop or you need to do an apply. I've got a nice little Git repository here. I'm going to open up the Git bash shell inside of it. And it's got a, a rich little commit history. So if I do a git ref log, you can see that history. And also, if I do a git stash list, you can see that there's a number of different stashes on here. Now, the problem with the stash is that it doesn't give you much information about the stash other than the index and the commit you were on when you created the stash. But, I mean, you can see down here, I created two stashes on one commit. It's difficult to keep track of what's in there. So the preferred option is to actually give a name to the stash. And so when you create a stash, what you do is you use the dash M option and that appends a message, a little bit of a name, some detail to the stash. Now, what have I got in here? I've got my home.html file. I'm gonna create an environment where I can do a stash. I have to change a file first. So I'll just do echo, hey you all. Now I've made a little bit of a change. I can now create a stash. I'm going to use the push command with the dash M switch and say, say my name as the name of the new stash. Now if I do a git stash list, hopefully I can see that in here. Then you can see it now says, say my name as the name of the git stash. Now, obviously you want to do a little bit more detail than that. so. You know, it could be, hey, I updated the home.html file or I did some experimentation with the JavaScript file. Just something that's going to give you a better idea of what's in that git stash than just, hey, 6076134 on a particular commit. Now, this is half the battle. Half the battle is naming your git stash. The other half of the battle is pulling that back in. And the way you can do it is you can do it through reg regular expression. Now, to be honest with you, I actually think that it's easier just to do git stash pop and then say zero, one, two, three, or four. But if you want to actually pull it back by name, here's how you can do it. You just, you use regular expressions. And so the syntax looks something like this. It looks like git stash apply. And then you say stash, a little tilde in there a little bracket, a slash, and then here's your regular expression, which should point to the commit that you want to bring back, that you want to pop or you want to apply. Now, mine say my name, I put that in there. Let's see how well this works. Look at that, all of a sudden my regular expression has worked fairly well and I've now brought back all of those edited files and I brought them back by name git stash list gives me a nice little list of my stash. Now, as I said, this whole git stash apply thing, that brings back your commit by name. So indeed, I was able to bring back that stash by that name, say, the, say my name by the message. You know, but it's not really that hard just to bring back any stash. So, I mean, say I wanted to go to number three here. You know, maybe I know what's in it. I know that I need it back. Here, well, I don't know if I'll have a conflict or not, but I could just go git stash pop and say the number four, because it's the fourth entry on my list of stashes. Um, that will bring it in, and all of a sudden I've now got that stash. Now in this case, I've got a, um, uh, a commit chain, so it wants me to do a merge or something like that. But I mean, you get the idea. This syntax is a lot easier than the regex. But, you know, choose your own adventure. If you want to actually pull it in by name, that's how you do it. Otherwise, I'd suggest, you know, find the index and just do a git stash pop index number. Your life will probably be a lot easier.